Good morning YouTube community. Welcome back to Life's Pharmacy. This morning we're going to do a quick clip on the pigeon pea. Um, the pigeon pea is a perennial tree. Its uh, origin is India. Um, the cultivation climates are tropical or subtropical. Um, the tree is a nitrogen fixer. Uh, right here we're in zone 9b. It's December, a couple days before Christmas. And the pigeon pea you can see right now is in several stages. Um, it's producing right now the young uh, pea pods and it's also still in its flowering state. One of the great things about this too is um, it's still bringing pollinators um, this time of year being fall. Um, so when you grow certain varieties and diversity um, you can make sure that you have things growing in your garden at all times of the year um, but you can also make sure that the needed pollinators also have food sources and the ability to pollinate. Now I'm really excited about this tree. Um, I was just talking with a good friend over at Summerwood uh, Nurseries, Richard is Jamaican, and he was telling me about uh, a dish that they'll be preparing for the upcoming holidays, um, which includes pigeon pea. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick clip on this and uh, just give you a few, um, a little bit of information on it. Um, the soil conditions that this grows in um, can be marginal land conditions. It's very drought, to uh, drought tolerant. It's also really fast growing. Um, now here I grow in a permaculture style uh, system. So you can see I have mulch. I have never watered this. Um, I can tell you that its height right now being uh, about 16 feet tall. Um, it has literally grown an easy eight feet in six months. Um, so it is very fast growing. Um, the pigeon pea uh, makes a great um, symbiotic uh, guild or fruit producing plant. It's also a layering crop and a drop for a biomass. Um, it's a nitrogen fixer, like I said, because what it's doing is providing the needed nitrogen for some of the surrounding plants. Here you can see I have um, some flowering, This, in this case being a white eggplant. Um, over here, some black beauties. Um, so it's helping, uh, this is a kumquat here. Um, you can see that there's watermelons. So things surrounding the, the, the deep taproot system of this tree um, pulls the nitrogen from the air and then releases uh, through the root system and providing nitrogen to other plants. This is a soursop uh, tree, which is a fruit tree planted right next to this one as well. So it's a big uh, part of helping it uh, produce and survive well. A um, few other things, nutritional fact wise, um, it has a great flavor profile. Um, it has high levels of protein and very important um, amino acids. Um, so it's an all around great, uh, like I said, perennial plant. Um, it serves multiple purposes, not just as a food source, high in nutrients, it has mineral contents, fat, protein, amino acids, like I said. Um, but it also helps um, create that, that environment. The chickens also absolutely love these, uh, when these pea pods, by the way. Right now, if, you, if I was to um, pull these off and eat them uh, while they're young, um, they're, there's actually a higher nutritional uh, content um, in, in the younger than there are the dried. Now I'll tell you, um, what, you'll, what we'll do is we'll wait for these to dry. When they dry is actually when you harvest them and then you can preserve them and you can cook them and use them however you'd like, as well as reseeding. Um, you can regrow these, of course, um, through the, through the uh, seeds themselves. So, very exciting. Um, this is some food for thought and thanks for joining.